Hey ladies, this is Bridget Danner from Women's Wellness Collaborative and I am here to answer one of your questions about women's health. So question today was pretty general, which is how do I balance my hormones? So general question, going to give kind of a general answer, but I'm also going to give a pretty important answer because I'm going to talk about the fundamentals of taking care of your health as a woman. And if we ignore these, we skip one of these, then it's kind of a waste of time. There's no point in running a bunch of expensive labs or taking a bunch of expensive supplements, going to see a specialist if you don't take care of these basic things. So I'm going to say four things in no particular order and then we'll unpack them a bit. Number one, sleep. You need to get a good night's sleep. That means that, I, for me, ideally, getting to bed around 9.30. So around 10, if your adrenals are off especially, you can start ramping up again and it'd be hard to sleep. So getting to bed early, you know, some of you may have a job that doesn't allow that or whatever, but I think around 9.30 is like a pretty magical time to go to bed. So let's say you have trouble sleeping. And this can be a chicken and the egg thing. You might have some hormone imbalance keeping you from sleeping or waking up at night. So there's some things you can do. One would be to avoid things like alcohol at night. They can make your blood sugar be off or, you know, a heavy meal or desserts right before bed. Um, another would be to have a nice nighttime routine. So turning down the lights, not being on the computer to the last minute, not watching a scary movie. Just turning the lights down, kind of like you're putting a baby to bed. Give, it, give the baby a bath, you know, brush the baby's teeth, tell the baby a story. And that's relaxing for your body and you can get into that routine. So important to sleep because when we are sleeping, we are recovering and restoring our body. It's a very basic thing, but it's a very necessary thing to health. Uh, number two, food. So if you're putting junk in your body, you're going to get junk results. So eating well is really important. So, you know, we're talking about the fundamentals today. So just eating real food, eating whole foods, um, you know, if you're binging on sugar or carbs, that can really throw your hormones off. Sugar definitely can throw your hormones off. Too much alcohol can throw your hormones off. And then if you're eating too many carbs and, and getting fat tissue, then that fat is making hormones and then your hormones can be off. So eating real food, I love to eat some fermented food. I like to eat foods with saturated fat like grass-fed butter, grass-fed meats, um, things like this coconut oil because this helps you make hormones so you need your saturated fats to make hormones so don't be afraid of fat um, next one is joy you know if you are really miserable and stressed all the time you're not going to be making those juicy sex hormones your body's not going to be signaling for that so there's lots of areas of your life where you could look to eliminate stressors or to increase happiness increase pleasure so if you're unhappy at work, you're unhappy in your relationship, you're saying yes to everything and go, 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 these are things to look at. They might not be the easiest things to look at, but super important. doesn't mean, you know, you quit your job and you leave your marriage. It just means it's time to communicate. It's, it's time to, to be real and to not hide out from things that aren't are making you happy and to make choices that bring joy in your life. Just like, say, when you fall in love and... And it should go, your hormones are like raging, right? Because you're so happy and it juices up your hormones. So if we're feeling good about our lives, it's also good for our hormones. And last one I'll mention is movement. So I'm not a big fan of too much exercise and too much like heavy, serious working out. But I do think it's, it's good to move your body, even just walking, doing some yoga, to help balance your hormones, help, help the detox process, help your cells move and some movement also can increase things like testosterone. I was just reading um, one of our women's wellness collaborative friends, Dr. Tammy Miraglia, was saying you don't have to actually do like a super intense workout to increase testosterone. You could just go on a 30-minute walk and that extra testosterone helps you build muscle mass and increases your libido. So those are some basic four things to get started with um, balancing your hormones. And once you've mastered that, you can come back and talk to me about 
something if it's still left over. Next, we're going to talk about testing for uh, hormones in our next video. Thanks a lot.